Hi guys, this is Liz Kaneda from Sleeklens. Today I'm going to be showing you a short tutorial on how to define and enhance hair in your portraits. We're going to be doing this by using the hair brushes that come with the Strike a Pose workflow. So I have this picture pulled up and we'll go ahead and start. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to my brushes and I'm going to hit new and I'm going to open. I'm going to go down to my Strike a Pose brushes. And I'm going to go all the way down to where it's a strike a pose portrait hair. And the first one I'm going to show you is the define blonde hair because this girl has blonde hair. Um, so as you can see, it go ahead and it sets the settings for you. And as you can see in the color, it's already changed it to a blonde color. So this is going to help you add definition and color to her hair. So you basically you're going to take your brush and you can change the size depending on how big or small you want it. And I'm going to run this all around her hair. All right, so once you've kind of run the brush all through her hair, what you can do is you can actually use the sliders over here to change the settings a little bit. So the contrast is pulled all the way down, but I'm gonna pull the contrast up a little bit. And I'm also gonna pull the exposure up because I wanna lighten her hair as well. And I'm gonna just put the clarity down just a little bit. Okay, so here you can see we've made the change. We basically just added color and light to her hair, but it's really changed the overall look. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you another brush now. I'm gonna delete the one I just used. So I'm gonna open up my brushes again, and this time I'm gonna use the Add Shine brush. So this you would use if anybody in your portrait has kind of dull or flat hair. And so what this does is it really kind of um, as you can see, it ups the highlights and the clarity a little bit, and what that does is pull out the shine and highlights and the light that's reflecting off the hair to just kind of enhance it. And if you put your little hand cursor over here, you could see everywhere where you've run the brush over. All right, so here's the before and the after. So as you can see, it's just kind of added a lot of light and really brought out those shiny highlights. So I'm gonna show you another brush now. So for this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the Define Hair Brush. And what that's gonna do is really up the clarity and it adds a little bit of color even though it is kind of a yellow color, you can use it on people who have darker hair. It overall, it's just adding definition to the hair. So you might want to do this if the hair on your subject might be slightly out of focus or just needs a little bit more definition uh, texture to add to the photograph. So this is a very, very subtle difference, but if you wanted to add more definition, you could push the clarity slider up. It's the before and the after. It really is a subtle change, but it does make a difference. So I've showed you the defined blonde hair, the add shine, and the just general defined hair. So I'm gonna to move to a different photograph now. And I wanna use a photograph that with someone who has dark hair. So we're going to go to our brushes and we're going to choose the, the Strike a Pose Define Dark Hair. So unlike the Define Blonde Hair, there is no color attached to this brush, but what they've done is put the contrast down a little bit, which will help to bring out the darker tones.
And so what you can do here is you can actually, if you want it to be even darker, you can turn the exposure down some. And the highlights down as well a little bit. All right, so here's the before and the after. So as you can see, we've really darkened her hair, especially up here, which it has kind of taken a little bit of the definition and um, contrast out here, and it's just kind of made it a flat black color. So what I can do is I can actually use another brush, and I'm going to use the Add Shine brush, and I'm just going to use that up in this area just to bring back a little bit of that contrast and highlights that I lost before. All right, so here's the before and the after. So we've just kind of defined and darkened her hair a little bit. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use another brush. We have one more hair brush in here and it's the Add Punch. So what this is gonna do is add shine contrast and clarity all at once and it's kind of just giving an overall boost to the hair it will make a huge difference but it is going to add something to your portrait when you are photographing people hair is especially a kind of a defining trait that you'll find in the in the photograph So it's a very, very subtle difference, but what it does is it's really brought out contrast and clarity and just added a lot of definition. If you look especially in this area right down here, when I hit the before and the after, you can definitely see the change. So there's one last thing I'm going to show you using the strike opposed brushes. I'm going to go back to my first photograph. And I'm going to actually show you the Strike Opposed brushes come with a series of color brushes. So I'm actually going to show you how to change the color of hair slightly. So you're going to go to your Strike Opposed color brushes and we're going to go for the color warmer because this girl has blonde hair, but I want to change it to a more brown color. So I've picked the Strike Opposed color warmer. And I'm going to go down here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually pull my slider all the way up into this darker orange range. All right. So what I did was I pulled it into this darker orange range, but I went ahead and turned the exposure down so that it was more of like a brown tone and less of a orange tone. And I'm just going ahead and running this all along her hair. All right, and you can play around with the color because you know this might be a little too orange for you. You can slide it to the red a little bit. And you can even use all these other wild colors. But I'm gonna slide it back up more towards this kind of red. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn the exposure down. 
in the shadows as well. So to get a little bit less of an orange color, I'm going to turn the saturation down a little bit so it just has more of a little bit of a natural color. So now that I've actually changed her hair color, so it went from being blonde to more of a brunette color, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the Strike Oppose brushes that come with this set, and it's the Strike Oppose Light and Brighten brush, and then the Strike Oppose Darken. And I'm going to show you how you can use the Light Brighten and the Light Darken to add highlights and lowlights. All right, so I'm going to make the brush pretty small. I have it right now on my light. And I'm just going to run this in any area where I want highlights. And you can see she already has natural highlights, so you can just kind of go along with the natural highlights. And then I can even slide the slider up here and just make them a little bit lighter. And now I'm going to use the Strike Oppose Darken brush. And I'm going to go ahead and use this to add low lights to her hair. And I'm just going to kind of go where she already has natural low lights. It always helps a lot to kind of darken the hairline as well. And especially darkening the hair around the face will really kind of help the face pop out in the photograph. And I'm going to go ahead and make those a little bit darker. All right, so here's the before. She's got blonde hair. Now we've kind of given her uh, more of a darker brunette color, and we've added a little bit of highlights and lowlights. All right, so that's how you guys can use the hairbrushes that come in the Strike a Pose workflow to add definition, color, contrast, and shine to hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and you'll be able to try it out for yourself soon.